and we are live hi my name is donovan aka double donna and welcome to the nameless journey podcast nameless journey podcast yes sir you already know who it is it's double donna and we also have my co-host kylan already here for the podcast and let's go and switch cameras and talk about my guest today we have anthony go ahead and introduce yourself uh, my name is anthony um other people call me botas i don't know there's mm-hmm. i don't know what else to you call can t- you can tag your instagram <laughs> uh ihy botas not him <laughs> no it's i hate you botas on insta indeed <laughs> go check them out on instagram guys uh so just tell me a little bit about yourself tell the audience so they know who you are uh well just a typical dude from the central valley met these wonderful guys at the lovely can i say the location of the place uh, are we being discreet here you could you could you could say it. everybody say we'll it. just say a corporate retail office i met these wonderful guys working there indeed um started as a seasonal they're gonna boot me out because i guess i was a bit of a weirdo but i mean <laughs> they let me stick around and we hung out pretty cool nah, but, he's a cool dude he's a cool dude there's some people we don't mess with but he's a cool dude <laughs> out yeah. of the bunch you know yeah but it's been like what like a year so like almost two years I yes think? bro i'm not yeah. too sure i've been cool there minute. for about yeah two and a half did we get hired on at the same time? I don't remember. It was so weird because, no, I don't think so. I think it was like right like a few weeks after, but I don't think at the right, like same exact time. I'm so brain farted from like, like t- from when we first met to now. It's just like, dude, time has flown. <laughs> Heck it yeah. sucks. I do remember when I started, I seen a whole bunch of people. It was just a whole bunch of people and I was just in there. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know any of these people. I'm just going to work. <laughs> I got my head down. <laughs> I think the person uh, that really like introduced me to herself was sham Mm. sham was the one that came up to me and started talking to me because i was on the lane just like not talking to nobody i was just (laughs) just looking around i think that's what they throw everybody i think that's like the gauntlet where you have to like you know let's see if this person's cool or not yeah they can can last and like on the lanes i'm like (laughs) okay i'll do it i'll do it right now you say you gotta tell me twice (laughs) wait did you ever meet me when i had green lashes when i showed up there yeah that was the first time i've ever saw you (laughs) but the thing was you started at (laughs) Let's talk about when this we, real quick. When, we so, fir- when I first met him or saw him, I seen him with that green lashes, and he was a really tall guy. I don't know where. He, he was, like, in the back room. He just, like, started in the back room. I'm like, wait, I started at the lanes, but it's all cool. Um, really God. tall guy just with green lashes, and I'm like, hmm, questionable. Yeah. No, that was crazy because when I met him, I shook his hand, and then he's like, hey, man, I'm not gay. Bro, I know. <laughs> I was like, bro, you shook my hand? That's all I need to know. Uh, you shaking my hand like that? No. Shows that you're not gay, bro. There, there's some dudes who can act the part and you wouldn't even know. Like, that's the scary part, you know? That is scary. I, I mean, I was a, I was an Edgar Tequachi with green lashes. That's kind of... Yeah, you, you don't see that every day. You don't see that every day. That was wild. I was like, is his lashes green? <laughs> and I just see him from a distance and then you walk closer. I was like, yo, oh, his lashes God. are green. So you probably said something like... You probably said to some people like, "Oh, this is just like what was it? Was it just a like mascara? Or was it actually like extensions?" So or it was actual lashes or actual like extensions. What was it for? Mm. So, okay, as embarrassing as sounds, you know, um, my aunt had this lash lady, and she was like, "I need a model for like my lashes, like with a girl. We're gonna take pictures, mm. you know." Okay, I was okay. like, "You're handsome." They gassed me up, you know. I wasn't. I was not the best looking dude. I was like, <laughs> I was chunky, and they were like, "Okay." Let's gas them up. So I'm over here eating it up. There sh- and, and like we took a few photo shoots and then Halloween came around and she was like, hey, you know, you mind, you know, having some lashes on you? I was like, yeah, I don't mind. Like, just do some cool color. Well, she gave me glow in the dark green lashes. Oh, they were glow in the dark? Yes. They were, oh, dude. And she was like, just going to keep these on for two weeks. I was like, two weeks. I start Target next week. I was like, God damn. If I knew they were glow in the dark. Man, I would have made so many jokes. I would clap my hands twice, see if the lights turned off. <laughs> they were a nice screen, though. I like them. That was crazy. Uh, I forgot that you were a model. You want to talk about that? I wouldn't say a model, but... You did modeling. I remember you telling me that you had to lose a lot of weight to be able to, like, do certain shoots and everything. Yeah. yeah. So, run, give me the rundown of that experience and, like, how all that happened. Uh, I mean, it was cool. I mean, taking the pictures, experiencing, like, you know, the photos and the setup and the makeup and whatnot, but, like... Like, I don't know. It was just, I can't really speak on that experience because I kind of forgot about it. But, I mean, it's too much. It it's too, too much. much, you know. It's too much. I mean, I, like how you guys carry yourselves. I'm like, damn, these are some pretty boy, pretty boy dudes. Uh, they, could, <laughs> they, they know what they're doing. But, I mean, yeah. I yeah. just I, They gassed me up. Let's just they say gassed they gassed you, me they up gassed and I ate it up. So, I know that you also had a weight loss journey, too. Yep. So, how much were you weighing back then and what you are now? Oh, dude, it fluctuated. 
it fluctuated. So during the pandemic, I did nothing but like stuff my face, uh-huh. you know, like straight Fortnite. We all did. It's <laughs> like three Fortnite, years. Chicken nuggets. Like mm-hmm. that was my diet. And chicken then, nuggets for your day? <laughs> oh, dude, Dino nuggets at three a.m. Oh my. Three a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Little T Rexes just hit different. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Little T Rexes. Did just you hit have different. like a pandemic snack? Uh, nah. Honestly, I didn't really. I don't remember having a pandemic snack. Probably uh, Takis. Grim- Grimace shake. <laughs> I, I never tried it but every time i saw somebody drink it i was just like it makes me not want to drink it anymore <sighs> it looks so thick did you try it oh hell no <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look good bro it didn't look good i'll pass on that hmm. no nah, but uh oh dude honestly i think after the pandemic and when i started doing that modeling stuff i was like you know what i want to look better i want to like do like kind of just dropping weight i was probably weighing like i want to say 260 260 so i was like I was on a little heftier side and plus yeah. I just got out of a relationship so it's like all that healthy relationship weight packed on so I was that like and, and how tall were you? Uh, how tall are you? I'm six foot. Okay. Six so foot. Um, just six foot with a big old beer belly. That's what it looked like Damn. but <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. How fast like, did you lose it? Like, um, I want to say uh, probably like a year. So like I dropped so now I probably weigh like 189, 190. Mm-hmm. So I I can't do math, but I lost the last quite a bit of weight. Yeah. I mean, you dropped it. You yeah. dropped the weight. That's good, though. Yeah, it, it was crazy. It's like, it was just simple workouts, just from like, you know, cable press downs to just walking on a treadmill, like for 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people might think, oh, you got to go hard, take these ups, and like look like Christian Bum said. And I was like, no, it's mm-hmm. like, as long as you're comfortable in your own skin, mm-hmm. you ain't got to be the biggest dude. You ain't got to be the most shredded dude. Like, as long as you're. Dedication to yeah you that know? part. Dedication. Just keep it up every day or something. Yeah. I've seen you guys in the gym. I mean, I've seen your the, your videos on Instagram Dude, and then Kai with his progress. Like, <laughs> what's that even like? I mean, honestly, bro, uh, you see me when I was big, like back at Target. I was two fifty, um, and then I dropped down to two eighteen, and it was just like, shoot, I was just getting out of a relationship. So same thing here. Like it, it sucked. Like. I needed to get out of this relationship. Uh, like the relationship was good, but then it was just like I needed to switch my mindset to something different. I needed Absolutely. to do something with my life and not just kind of like sit there and be sad and oh, I'm hurt from uh, this relationship and blah 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 blah. Because you could be as sad as you want, but it doesn't change anything until you go up in there and go change something yourself. Thanks. Yeah. So I just kind of went in there and then uh, just started lifting more and more. I started off at Planet Fitness. Uh, which is a good gym, honestly, a good starter gym if you're trying to like actually like lift and everything. Yeah. Uh, but then I just can constantly went and did it more and more, and I was just like, "Dang, I like being strong as hell." You know? Yeah. Now he gives the best advice for like protein shakes, <laughs> pre workouts, all this extra stuff. I'm like, "Dang, you got oh, a yeah, lot go, of this. Go, check, go check, go check it out, bro. Rise, uh, Skippy peanut butter oh, protein. No pass. way, so bro. Good. I got some. I'll let you try some today. <sighs> Snacking, no, bro. There's a there there. Uh, what is it called? Those energy drinks, the Country Time Lemonade. With Ooh, the, I got the pre workout, yeah. bro. The pre workout oh Country God. Time Lemonade. Snacking. That's probably one of my favorite. And then I got the pump powder. I want to make blueberry uh, uh lemonade because uh-huh. I got the blue raspberry pump powder. With uh, it. That ain't too sweet for you. Mm mm. Honestly, because I have the big Hila mix, right? Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like it's nothing too crazy. I just ordered a small one, so we'll see how it is when it comes to that. So I mean, I mean every it depends every pre workout. I mean, I, some of it just be too powdery though. And it's mm-hmm. like you feel like you're just drinking gravel. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Are you yeah. more of like? Have you tried protein or uh, pre workouts? Uh, d- uh, I think really. my favorite one is probably black market cuts. Black market cuts. Yeah, I never heard of that. So it's like a, it's like a thermogenic, and it just okay. like. Oh, dude, like it makes burns you sweat. your skin. Oh no! Like, you're walking on the treadmill, you're just drenched. You know? But that's the best part, you know. Mm-hmm. It feels like you're actually getting working out. But mm-hmm. a good sweating. Yeah, that's good. Should be more of like a dry scooper or put it in water. That dry scoop theory, I don't know. I heard that it's like you take it, but then like your workout only lasts for like a little bit. Bro, it hits you, you so sip. hard too. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, kind of like if you're having a caffeine crash. You know, you mm-hmm. sip a rock star and you're just like, oh, I feel good for like ten minutes, and you're like. Like, I don't mm. know. It does do that. I took a dry scoop one time. I was so energetic, ready to hit it. I was tingling so bad. And then, like, towards the end of my workout, I was like, man, I ain't doing cardio. I'm leaving. <laughs> so forget this. No, it's even worse when you're at the gym and you're just, like, on your phone and, like, a good TikTok happens and you're just like. Uh, then you just, like, swipe it the whole time. <laughs> like, somebody comes around, like, you're almost done. You're like, no, no, no. So I'm bad. <laughs> oh, you still here? <laughs> he said, I got two more sets. Give me a second. Bro, it's still been 30 swipe. minutes already. <laughs> 
Uh, no, but so would you, what gym do you go to? I go to Evo. Evo? Uh huh. Evolution. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I Is go that, there now. That's a big one next to the Chick fil A. Uh, Panera. Panera. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a Panera here? Yeah, we got a Panera mm-hmm. right next to uh, In and Out and uh, Raising Canes. Canes yeah. That was a dirt lot last time I was here. Damn. Mm-hmm. We got a Panera. That's why we talked about uh, with Tommy. Uh, go check out the video. I'll put the picture up there. Um, that's the video where we talked about the charged lemonades that they sell over there at Panera Bread. Lemonades? Uh, the charged lemonades? Oh, dude. I, was, I <laughs> said mayonnaise. Dude. The like, charged charge mayonnaise. mayonnaise. I was like, God oh, damn. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, did, didn't some girl die off of that? Yes. Yeah, she passed that. away from the charged lemonades because they have 390 milligrams of caffeine in it so uh, for a size large. And then I guess they have like a sip club so you can get a charged lemonade every two hours. Oh, God. $12 a like month. $12 a month. <laughs> $12 a month. <laughs> But every two hours is crazy. For a charge lemonade, three hundred uh, ninety milligrams. My pre workout is three twenty five. God damn! Isn't like I think I know the daily intake should be like less than four hundred. Mm-hmm. And if you're drinking two of those, even four of those a day, oh, mm-hmm. you're absolutely insane. Get, yeah, mm-hmm. get out, dude. That's like worse than drinking Monster. You know, it's straight cat piss. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I'll yeah, pass on that. <laughs> cat piss. Dude, dude, have you not smelled the Monster? I, I can't stand people who drink Monsters. I don't like monsters. Every time I go to like an airport or something, they always have monsters there, bro. It is nasty. I don't like monsters. The original green one, uh, Celsius, 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 we do Celsius over here. Celsius sponsor us, please. Oh God, please. <laughs> <laughs> I need a case. This guy's gonna hook me up. <laughs> no, but I don't know. Like the smell of it, it just sounds so hard. Well, maybe because where I work, because there's a certain smell that smells like a monster, and I'm just like, oh, oh, I can't stand it. Didn't you used to drink the Zero Sugar Boss? We ain't thing? talking about that right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <the> sponsor us. <laughs> sponsor us. Speaking well, of that, they ain't, we ain't sponsored, but also use the code Dubledano at AZVA and also at Habits365. You can, guys can go get 10% off of your purchase and also 15% off of your purchase using my code. Yeah. They got really good clothes. I'll throw the pictures up there. Go check it out. And also like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our videos. And also comment as well so we can ask questions to our guests and fill out the guest yeah. applications if you want to be a guest on the podcast. We will choose. Yeah. We will choose if you're good. Do not put something stupid on there like, I like getting this bread, I like getting this money. I don't want to hear all of that. Uh, we need to know about you so we can ask questions about you. So, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and fill out the guest application if you want to be a guest on the podcast. Let's go ahead and go. You're already here, just do it. Hmm, that's what I'm saying. Wait, so you're saying uh, wherever you work, so where do you work? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll try to speak about it. Like, I had to be real discreet about it because, you know... Yeah, yeah, just yeah. for my own safety and like as others yeah that's understood but um yeah i work i work in prison so okay uh, and how was that going pretty good dude it's been like a while already i'm um, going on in a year a year yeah crazy any crazy experiences uh or like first day on the job experiences where it just kind of like threw you off i mean i can't really on. i mean i can't really speak on a lot oh yeah, yeah, yeah but um but no it's definitely a different experience you know working in prison is like a it's a city within a city okay you know it's ran by incarcerated people so mm-hmm. it's just like you can't you know it, it, it's it's different you know yeah and it's like you see these guys every day mm-hmm. so it's like you can't just go in there you know play bad cop good cop no it's like you just be yourself and you know that's how you're gonna succeed and go home safe every day mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah um but as far as doing it i mean i love it yeah it's like you know you might see me on the street and like yeah that guy's not it's not he doesn't work in prison no mm-hmm. but to to what i do dude i love it you know there's some days where it's like damn it's kind of overwhelming you know you go out you're just thinking a lot you know you, whether you know did i do this right was this safe you know mm-hmm. you know at the end of the day like as long as you and your partners go out home safe you know that's that's the best part yeah, yeah. as long as it's enjoyable to you bro yeah. really I, they make pretty good money too obviously we don't pocket watch over here we don't talk about <laughs> nobody's money but like they that's good like if you if you was to give some advice to people that wanted to get into that uh business what advice would you give them see i'm a little biased on that okay because i did it because you know i dropped out of college yeah, i was yeah, playing yeah. college football for quite a bit you know um you know just things took a turn you know the mm-hmm. pandemic happened so it's like i couldn't glue myself to a computer dude like i cannot like i'm hands-on like i'd rather be in a classroom you know doing expi- experiments whatnot yeah but you know things took a turn i joined um i mean it's not for the faint of heart you know you mm-hmm. gotta grow some real thick skin to do it i mean i'm not saying you know i'm perfect and i have the hardest skin that i can't handle like there's things that get to me i can't lie about that yeah. you know like i'm just a normal human being you know 
things will get to you. But um, I mean, if you're passionate about law enforcement and passionate about you know pursuing something in the you know judicial like legislative and like judicial you know follow it. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. personally think like you know go to school, find what you like first, find your purpose in life. Then you know if you don't find it, this can always be a backup plan. You know. Okay. Everything's the prison system's always going to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's understandable. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So I, I know there's a lot of young people nowadays that are getting into the prison system, whether um, it's being an officer or like CHP or anything like that. Uh-huh. Uh And I think that's a cool experience to do, uh, especially if you were like a person that was like younger and he was like in the what is it called that little program. I think uh, it was Dare or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the little Dare program. What was it think, Dare. Uh huh. That mm-hmm. Dare program where they're like uh, learning how to become a cop and like uh, have that type of experience. Don't do drugs, kids. Mm-hmm. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. We don't kids. do that over here. We don't do that over here. <laughs> it doesn't get you nowhere. Mm-hmm. Most no Fortnite carts. No more Fortnite carts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's cool though to be able to have that experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. I recently seen on your um, Instagram story that you're really good at shooting. I, you're really smooth oh, with it. Oh, God. <laughs> no. So, have you always been into guns? Uh, no, actually, it was just a hobby I picked up since I worked, like, yeah, working yeah. in the agency or in the department. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I, I was living in Oregon for a while, and over there in Oregon, they don't have, like, um, like regulations and laws like California does for guns. Right. So, like... I one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go buy a rifle. Like, why not? You know, I got nothing to do. I live in the middle of nowhere, Oregon. It's always <laughs> raining. You know, there's nothing but trees and the beach, and like everybody's asleep by six o'clock. You know, it's all At old. PM? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's early. I um, I lived in a small little rural town, but um, so over there, like, and then like you can buy ammunition. Like, you can go to the grocery store, be like, oh, I'm gonna get a loaf of bread. Hey, let me get a box of fifty bullets and like That's they give it to you like nothing. Crazy. They don't care. Like Oregon is insane. Like you can buy anything. <laughs> you can buy a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, <So> just like <laughs> just like let me get that one. <laughs> no, there's, you can buy a, literally a rocket launcher. I mean, it won't shoot, but <laughs> you can buy a rocket launcher. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's a pawn shop up there and it literally had everything. I'm needed. rolling. That Regulations. reminds me of the boys. <laughs> They just uh, carrying rocket launchers and like guns out of nowhere. But I was when I left, I was like, "All right, I'm buying everything I can before I come back to California." Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, I'm saving up for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I don't care. The boy got himself a bunker a, and everything. Uh, he has a whole gun case and all. <laughs> Nuclear rocket under my basement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's ready. No, that's crazy. He's ready. That's yeah. wild. No. So it was just a hobby you picked up. Yeah, just a random hobby. But like I said, I lived in like in Oregon, dude. There's nothing where I lived. It was on the it was on the coast. So it's like, you know, there's nothing like the dude. I, this is, sucks so bad for me because In and Out and Chick Fil A were at least two hours and a half for me. Like if I wanted to get a good burger or a good f- food, I had to drive at least three hours. Dang. So Chick Fil A really is the, the holy nowhere. place too. <laughs> yeah, hey, dude. If- Chick Fil A finna be in heaven. I know it is. That's how good it is. Oh, dude. <sighs> Wait, what's your order for Chick Fil A? <laughs> that you got me thinking. It's, it's always different it's always different <laughs> actually i like the 12 piece grilled nuggets okay chick-fil-a sauce polynesian sauce uh, polynesian right yeah yeah, polynesian, yeah yeah pour it up in there shake it up and then throw the fries on top and mix that in there mm. and a little bit of mac in there yeah okay that sounds smacking i ain't gonna lie oh dude that's a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> that's a damn heart attack <laughs> i'm gonna sleep attack. after it the avocado ranch is pretty good you too. You get it in a small mac and cheese or a large? Oh, large. Get, it, 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 large. Oh get it all for him. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Now I know what you mean by heart attack. That's what he's, <laughs> like he was getting a small one. No, that, no dude, that's bite size with me, dude. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> now that's crazy. So get the large, get no, it what's all What's your guys' order, though? Like, really put me on. I need something better. Okay, so I get the spicy chicken and sandwich deluxe. Okay. Right, combo. Uh, I get a Coke Zero with that. Uh, I know I got aspartame and all of that stuff. Oh, it's gonna mess up your lip. Shut up. Nobody <laughs> asked you. Um, but uh, wait, what has aspartame? Uh, the Coke, the oh, Coke oh, Zero. Okay, 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 yeah. Like most zero sugar drinks have like aspartame in it. Yeah. So so do Zins. You know, a little upper decky pillow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it's just like who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> it's your body. <laughs> exactly. My body, my choice. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I get the spicy chicken sandwich the that, combo. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> but the spicy chicken sandwich deluxe combo with the large fry. I used to get mega cheese, but then it was just like Honestly, it they it don't hit like that all the time, you know? It's a hit or miss for me. 
and then I like their chicken nuggets. I only get like an eight piece. Hey, it depends who's in the kitchen though. That's what I'm saying. So there's a white man back there. Mm-hmm. Ain't no season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now if it's a black person or a Mexican, mm-hmm. oh dude. Oh yeah, <sighs> they making it baked mac and cheese. Yeah. White people they making it craft <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like no sir straight powder cheese uh, yeah. oh, uh, go ahead and send no. this back we don't need that <laughs> <laughs> i want a refund mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying that's my that's my order what you do mine's just like a mixture of randos like sometimes i get like the wrap uh-huh. but i also like the, the fried nuggets a wrap the, yeah it's like a chicken salad wrap and it's really good you put it with the avocado ranch <laughs> sauce it's fire wait I they like sell tortillas it. yeah like in a wrap what's a wrap like do you know Bro, what like, a, like like a you know the tortilla with the lettuce and then they got the chicken that's also yeah, up in there yeah. with a little bit of mm-hmm. tomato like and they put the and sauce and mm-hmm. that's the wrap that they it's make just a wrap. it's like a burrito but it's a wrap so oh, i guess you could say okay, a burrito okay okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. See, i've never seen that on the menu like I'm, yeah i just go and get the same thing over and over it's like and look at the right menu. there next to the salad okay uh-huh. one time there was just it. a line and i was like mm, what's that let me get that i think sham got it one time too when we were in la and it was really good sham's got like she's got a weird taste like because no offense, it, it, she, it, she gets the random things. <laughs> <laughs> like tofu, I can't eat tofu, bro. Oh no, mm. it's nasty. She actually put me on seaweed. Seaweed, okay, seaweed smacking, but tofu in general, no. <sighs> why? Mm. Just the texture? The texture. I'm a texture person. It's just that's why I don't like bananas like that. <laughs> it's like bush. <laughs> 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 It's all mushy, bro. I, like, I was thinking something else. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you get. <laughs> it's 2024, man. Get over it. <laughs> we passed that. <laughs> oh no, god. Yeah, that's why I'm a texture person. That's why I don't like tofu. Like oh. this, is just nasty to me. What about like? Okay, so my girl, she, she does not like soggy lettuce on burgers. Like, mm-hmm. like what, what's your what's your what's your take on that? Because I told her I was like, that's a little bit weird. Like, how do you not have a burger with lettuce? But she said it's always warm and like, like wet. Like, well, if, she doesn't like that texture. If it's gonna be warm, I, if it's gonna be warm in the burger, because the burger's warm, simple as that. So it don't really matter to me like that. Like it's in yeah. the burger, you ain't gonna really like taste it like that. You there for the the meat and the bread and the cheese? Pause. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the meat pause and the bread and the cheese. <laughs> you said emphasis on the meat. <laughs> the meat. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but if like she don't like the soggy lettuce, just get a salad. Well, I think it depends on how it's prepped and how fast you eat it. You know, because yeah. if you put it like you put the bun, you know, all that stuff on but there, she doesn't and you like eat that. It right it's away. warm or just soggy. I she just doesn't like let it warm lettuce. Like it's just it, it was kind of odd to me. Uh, so I mean, because I was gonna say if she don't like it soggy, then does she not put like ranch on her salad i mean she does well i mean i've never seen her salad but uh, but like we usually me and her we're like we eat like nothing but like fast food so it's always like yeah yeah in and out or fucking wing wing stop i don't know she likes wings so I wing I smack know. it wing just going to put it on the side oh no we but wing stop okay wing stop or buffalo oh, okay we did this last they, oh. we did this last podcast wing stop i don't know what it buffalo is not good bro people what <laughs> Bruh, every time I go to Buffalo, my food is cold. Okay, but your fries are soggy at Wingstop. No. <laughs> dude, it's like eating a pool noodle. But it's like, think about it. You're dipping it in ranch. <laughs> that don't matter, dude. That's it's dragon. Ra- okay, do you want, like, what are you eating? The ranch or the fries? Because at that point, you're the just ranch. dipping. Just... <laughs> the ranch. That's disgusting. No. Ranch is smacking over there. No. No. But you choose a Buffalo over Wingstop. <sighs> they have their different qualities, you know? And I haven't been to Buffalo in a yeah. while, but they have their... They okay. do have different. They do have different qualities. Their food is cold. My food is hot. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's gonna be an hour and forty-five minute wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do all that. At least, every time I go to wing stuff, they'd be like, "Yeah, it's gonna be a forty-five minute wait." Okay, just go get my chicken. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> you keep telling me like I'm gonna leave or something. Well, you know they have to pluck it. <laughs> yeah, they over there plucking the chicken. So. Harvesting it from the bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on now. Wait, bone in or bone out? Bone in boneless you eat in bone so you like nuggets yeah that's what i'm saying it's so easy if i'm not getting flats all flats and i don't want it i and get all flats giving, i ain't gonna lie but they be trying to like um wings up they be trying to like oh we have to give you like you know the, all of them the drums are fat like there's just fat on there i don't really get nothing the nothing. drums they make them too crispy where it doesn't even feel like there's meat on it i ain't gonna lie yeah i'd rather eat the flats over there that's why i get all mm. flats when i go to wing stuff mm. so that's the best part over there i ain't gonna hold you depends i don't know it's always different everywhere so yeah. i mean regardless i mean the gas station sometimes has better wings in both places 
the gas station? Yeah. Like the what is it? The country crispy or crispy country? Co- I don't know. Church's chicken. <laughs> yeah, but, I, I know what you're talking about because yeah, I, yeah, I, I used to about. think I was just call it like church's chicken because it's too like too much words in one. Yeah. Just yeah. chicken. <laughs> now, how about we get on the topic of just chicken? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This, this turned racial. No, no, oh, no, I'm just here to chase my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i do want to go into the topic because i see that you have a lot of tattoos and the last time i've seen you you didn't have that many tattoos so just give me a rundown of how many tattoos you got right now and then if they have meaning uh no none of them have don't have meaning i'll let you know that um yeah. i just like tattoos <laughs> i like needle and I like needle pain okay. as weird as it sounds but i ain't gonna lie me too I ain't gonna to you. <laughs> <laughs> no. you gotta hear the audio the audio is crazy <laughs> <laughs> no dude so i got these all in oregon um, okay uh i don't know the exact count i have in my body because i have them on my legs i have them on my chest on my back um i just got the one on my neck you got I, a chest piece uh no it's just my parents name on my team oh, okay, okay. yeah i'm getting my chest piece soon yeah yeah my tattoo artist was like if you got any guns so i'll give you a free tattoo i was like i got you i might consider it <laughs> <laughs> but i saw the neck one when you was coming in and i also saw it on your instagram yeah uh, story too so i got the sacred heart and it's like a Chicano old American traditional. Okay. So it's I mean I like that style, like especially American traditional. So I got these in Oregon um, by some chick um, in Medford, and I mean she did a pretty good job. I mean they don't have meaning. I mean mm-hmm. this is probably my favorite one, the cowgirl. Mm-hmm. I mean I, I don't know. I just love the the design, just the way she did him, and like I don't know. So how much it run you for uh, like each piece? So if you give a price range. So well, right after I graduated the academy from uh, being a CEO, mm-hmm. I literally couldn't get tattoos for like two years. So I was like, right out the day after, I was like, I'm getting tattoos. I'm going to get tattoos. <laughs> so I got my bull skull, my crow, my bull rider, and the horse head. I want to say it was like 600. 600? Yeah. For just all three of them? For all yeah. three. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's not bad. four of them. Four of them. Four. Okay, then, that's not bad at all. These two? Oh, dude, she run amok. She knew what I was doing. <laughs> I told her what I did for a job. Mm. Oh, she taxed me. Oh, she taxed me. Five hundred for those two. What about the six hundred for four? <laughs> dude, my tattoo artist on my heart charged me two hundred fifty. This would have been a five hundred dollar piece. These two is like four hundred, three hundred, give or take. Yeah, but how did, how I ain't telling no what elbow. I do. <laughs> <laughs> on my elbow, dude. How did that feel? Oh, she was probably mad at her boyfriend or something because she's like, <laughs> she went straight needle in there, and I was like, oh, so I, I was biting my, I was biting the bed. Wait, pause. Biting the oh. <laughs> bed. Oh, nah. the massage chair, the massage chair. I was just biting it. It hurt so bad because she just went straight needle in, and I was like, no, girl. Hey, the elbow does hurt though. I ain't gonna lie. You have an elbow tattoo? Yeah. Uh, what? Hold on. Like it was near my elbow. Yeah, you got way more tattoos last time I saw you. I remember you. That was the first one you got, that timepiece in the rose. And then I got this. I got the Dobermans, and then I got the soul tattoo right here. Ooh, that's and nice. That I remember that one. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's nice. Yeah, Is that Laugh Now, Cry Later? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one right here? Man, that hurt. Oh. It was, my elbow was vibrating the whole time. Bro. <laughs> I was like, what? It's like, brrr, I'll say, yo, bro. He's all like, you're good? Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> he said, stop asking me questions. <laughs> now, have you ever had, like, a bad, like, tattoo moment? Like, not a tattoo moment, but, like, just a bad tattoo. Like, just experience was, like, horrible. I don't think I have, bro. Not yet. No? Mm-hmm. I've had pretty good tattoo experiences. Well, you know what's also a bad tattoo experience? What? When I tattooed everybody at Yesenia's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I ain't gonna hold you. I, felt, I still got that little one right there. Yeah, I still got the smiley face and like the skateboarder dude shammed it on me. <laughs> it's been there for years already. That's crazy. So the story behind that is that uh, both of us tattooed us at our friend Yesenia's crib for her birthday and he had like a little tattoo gun and everything. He was giving us little tattoos on our hands and everything. It was cool. It was fun. It was a fun experience though. I don't, were you, did you? No, I wasn't there. No, <laughs> I did have like to answer your question though. I had got a four for four right here. Okay. And it just kept fading away. I got it touched up like three, four times, and it just kept fading away. And I kept like the sticker thing on there for a few days, and it just like kept fading away. And that's the only one. Don't finger tattoos usually fade away though. Yeah, like so, yeah, depending on the tattoo? tattoo artist. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. Some so, like depending on your hand, they're gonna fade. Mm-hmm. It's like you're constantly washing your hands. Your skin's always like. You know, mm. I think I know not to be sounding like a nerd, but like your skin cells and all that whatnot is just like coming off every day. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. this one was fine. This one stayed on, and I only had to retouch it up once. 
Because mm. I have that. I, I have one right here too. It's like stupid little V loan. Little V loan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the little Uzi vert. <laughs>